How's it going guys? I'm Josh and last week I bought a few Polaroid cameras to mess around with. Now I've always shot with DSLRs, I've messed around with film, but I'd never shot with Polaroids before and honestly, it's blowing my mind. I feel like my love for photography is being reinvigorated and I'm learning all these skills that are gonna translate back to my DSLR photography. So today, we're gonna talk about eight reasons why every photographer should shoot with a Polaroid camera. Let's get going. A very common reoccurring theme in my videos is getting super pumped to jump into it and then realizing there's one or two more things I wanna add. If anyone's wondering, this is the impossible Polaroid 600 Job Pro 2. It costed about $140. You can get it in less cool colors for a little bit cheaper. And it prints out Polaroids that are pretty large. Meanwhile, this is the InstaX Mini 90. It's about $120 and it prints out Polaroids this large, so a little size comparison. And full reviews are gonna go down for these cameras very soon, but in the meantime, I'm gonna put links to check them out down below on Amazon. Anyway, let's get this going for real this time. Reason number one is decisiveness. Now, film for Polaroids is super, super expensive. This comes in eight packs that ranges between $19 and $24 or so, so you're paying between two to $3 per shot. These smaller guys are a little bit cheaper, more like the dollar range, but that's still a hefty price to pay for every time you click the shutter. Now, some would say that sucks, but I'm gonna say on the bright side of this, you're gonna learn to be a more decisive photographer. Now, there's two points in decisiveness. One is actually perfectly timing the photo and you know the classic sports photography midair thing. And yes, you will get better at that because you have to be more careful and you can't just do burst mode, but also just a general quality over quantity thing, you're gonna learn when you should actually be shooting the photo in the first place. And now when you take these skills back to your DSLR, you'll find that you're gonna be shooting less photos because you're gonna know when it's worthwhile, as opposed to the classic DSLR spray and pray method, I like to call it, when you're pretty much just going for it, sending it always, because you're probably gonna get a good shot at some point. It's also important to remember that timing and decisiveness are not skills you either have or you don't. There's something you're always getting better at over time, even if you're a professional photographer, and these cameras will 100% help with that. Reason number two is cost. These cameras are incredibly cheap. You can get a decent Polaroid for under $100, even in the $60, $70 price point for some of the Fuji film guys, which is amazing because these cameras essentially become like toys. You can throw them in your backpack, take them to a party, and not have to worry about it. Also, they're super, super light, which is awesome. This guy's huge, but this guy is light and tiny. And reason number three is the feedback loop. Now everything I've said so far can also be applied to analog photography or film photography. And what's great about this though is that you get to see your shots immediately after taking them, which is pretty obvious. But what's great about that is you can actually refine your photos. So even though they take between 10 and 20 minutes to develop fully, you still get to see that and stay in location and then improve your shot as opposed to if you're shooting film, you don't get to and you might not see your shots for another week or two. This is like the perfect middle ground for a DSLR photographer that wants to slow things down without taking a major quality hit. The feedback loop is super key. And reason number four is framing. So with these cameras, cropping your photo after you take it is gonna be a thing of the past, or realistically, the future. There's no editing, obviously, they come out as they are, which is really great because you're gonna to have to frame your photos very deliberately, as opposed to you know giving yourself a little extra room and then cropping and straightening in Lightroom as we all do. As a result, you're just gonna become that much more deliberate, and I think the more deliberate you can be with anything in photography, the better you're gonna be. Also, I should say, I feel like everything I'm saying here can also be construed very easily as a negative. And yeah, there are some serious, serious challenges to shooting Polaroid camera photos. Do bear in mind that I'm being overly optimistic here. A lot of these are some serious inhibitions in photography, but I think they're teaching you some amazing skills. So there are some pros and cons to all of this. Reason number five, you were gonna master composition. Now the reason why is because there aren't that many manual settings to worry about. When I shoot DSLRs, I can go crazy thinking so much about what my settings should be like, tweaking everything in full manual so that composition gets a little bit neglected. Now these cameras are so simple. All I have on this guy is a lighter mode, a darker mode, neutral, the exposure. And then I have a two to four foot focus range and a four to infinity foot focus range. And then of course there's flash or no flash. Those are the only decisions I have to make with any of the photos I take on this camera, which is amazing because I get to put that much more thought into the actual composition when setting up the shot with its settings is so, so simple. And it's funny, I actually say the same thing about iPhones, honestly, because yeah, when you're not thinking about anything, everything's fully automated, you're just gonna get to really focus on how you frame it. And, and that's, 
that's an awesome thing to get to do because you know the more focus on one thing, the better you're gonna get at it. Now I will say that some Polaroid cameras do have more manual settings, but they tend to be much, much simpler than any other DSLR. I mean, your lenses are gonna be fixed, you can't zoom with them at all, and the focus is gonna be fairly simple. Some of them have a few different modes. Like this guy has a couple of different more modes, but it's still very, very simple. So yeah, get down to the basics and really think about composition. Super awesome thing. And reason number six, just building on this whole composition thing is the fact that there's no editing. Now, I think that in DSLR photography, editing is one of the biggest things that separates the AMs from the pros, and you can really step up a photo in Lightroom if you know what you're doing. Now with these, editing is again a thing of the future, which is awesome because it totally levels the playing field and just again sets more focus on shooting the actual photo. And reason number seven, it is a rush. I feel like my love for photography has been reinvigorated by Polaroids. Like for the first time in a very, very long time, I actually get this rush when I press the shutter button, which is incredible. There's also this feeling of intense anticipation leading up to pressing that shutter and then just big time excitement as I'm waiting for the photo to develop. And I've never felt this invigorated by the photographic process in a long time. It's almost like developing your first roll of film in the dark room every time. You're just super, super stoked to see how everything came out. And, and I don't know, I feel like I've become a little bit desensitized to the DSLR photography process because it is so streamlined and quick. And, and now I actually have to be so deliberate and careful and, and just savor everything. And that's, that's amazing. And reason number eight, I have to throw this in there, the cool factor. So first of all, the photos look incredible. They've got a super neat feel to them. You can use all types of different style film and it's, it's just super sick. The photos look great. And secondly, you're gonna meet some very cool people when you shoot Polaroids on the street. I've been stopped by so, so many people who just wanna to talk to me about photography and stuff. And honestly, I found that doesn't really happen with DSLRs anymore. It's kind of the same thing as when you fly a drone. It's just this like niche community of people that care about it. So when someone stops you, they're actually gonna be passionate about it and you're gonna get great conversation out of it. I've had people who are so eager to stop for photos to make sure that I get my perfect framing, people that have recommended books for me to read about famous Polaroid photographers and all kinds of great stuff. And this is only after one week of use. So I feel like it's an amazing, amazing thing. And, and I, I personally love meeting strangers. So this is, this, is my, this is my thing for sure. Ultimately shooting Polaroids, you're gonna be part of this very cool niche community that just does not exist for photography anymore because everyone has a camera. So yeah, if you wanna make people think you're unique, no, I, I do sometimes feel like I'm such a demographic when I'm riding down the street with a Polaroid camera and a skateboard. I'm like, ugh, I live in Brooklyn too. I'm the worst. But honestly, these are all amazing things. And I, I, I love this camera. Now it's not gonna be my main camera forever, but I am getting a real kick out of using it. And I think when I go on little adventures where I'm like, you know what, it's not worth bringing all my camera gear, I'm just gonna throw this in my bag and it's gonna do me just fine. And that's about it. My final little sales pitch is if photography is getting a little bit stale for you, and it happens to everyone, don't even worry about that, or you just wanna mix it up and challenge yourself, Polaroid photography is the thing for you and it's super affordable to get into. So I highly recommend you give it a whirl and also just remember that it's its own little thing. You know, there's still DSLR photography. It's not gonna be your new main camera, but it's something to mess around with. It's gonna be a really good time and your friends are gonna enjoy taking party pictures with your Polaroid camera because they're gonna feel super hip. And isn't that what photography is all about? Feeling super hip, it's not. Please don't, don't listen to me. And that's all I really have to say. I would love to hear what you guys think, whether you agree with what I've said, whether you disagree with anything I said, or if you just hate everything I've ever said in my entire life, leave a comment down below. I'd get a kick out of it. And it's always fun talking with you guys and getting a good discussion going. And you know, let me know if you think you're gonna start Polaroid photography. Also again, links down in the description to some Polaroid cameras to check out. And I'll recommend an even cheaper one and also some film to check out. There's some really, really cool film options out there. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for future Polaroid photography videos. I'm gonna be doing reviews on these cameras and comparison tests and all kinds of great stuff. So keep all of the eyes you have available out for all this new content. Give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling generous and feel free to follow my Instagram for more photos, whether they're DSLR shots, Polaroid shots, or daguerreotypes if you really wanna make people think you're super hip. Anyway guys, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you eventually.